Welcome back to Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. And this is Jason. You all know him. So we're back out here at his off grid cabin. We're uh, cooking up some lunch right now. Got some 100% grass fed beef. We're making some burgers real quick. And then once we eat that, we're going to kind of get on a little bit of the house bill. We don't know what uh, he's got planned for us. But right now, we just kind of wanted to get Jason's reaction to our roast video. If you haven't seen that video of us roasting him, because he put out a little challenge of roasting him, we'll put it up somewhere around here uh, if you haven't seen it. But he's going to watch it right now. We're just kind of going to get his first. He hasn't seen it yet at all. We just want to get his first impression of this video. So Jason, go ahead and let's uh -huh. make sure you watch the video so you kind of know what he's watching. Welcome back, y'all. This is Jason from The Crockers. I'm off grid right now, and we're about to get do some crazy stuff. Okay, <laughs> right now, got my cold beer ranch shirt. Okay, sun's out, guns are out. <laughs> I cut my shirt because you know I'm that type of guy. <laughs> All right, so I'm over here. Uh, Y'all say I need to grow some food. So what I'm doing, I'm using what nature's giving me. Right here, we got ourselves a log. Look at this. <laughs> dirt here. I Just got on top. Woods. All right. Look, I just got a seed from the ground. Okay, I'm <laughs> off grid here. This is my raised bed. Look at it. Costed me nothing. I planted a <laughs> seed in there. All right. Boom. That is a tomato plant. It'll come up in a couple days. This is how you grow fruit off grid. Didn't cost me nothing. Didn't cost right. me nothing. Right here. So these these little greens right here. Yeah, this thing right here kill you. Okay. Yeah. Kill don't, you. Don't don't touch that. Okay. Holy cow. Oh man. Guys, I just found it. I found my lunch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is wild and it's growing here on my property. Woo. I just hit the gold mine. Now, guys, when you're living off grid and you're getting your wild edibles, you cannot forget your spoon. Yeah. Always keep a spoon <laughs> on you. Oh, man. This is a morale booster right here. Gosh. Yeah, that's definitely some wild stuff right there. Mm. Now, guys, when you're eating wild edibles, it is suggested that you cook them because if you don't cook them well, you will get the scours. You'll have it from both ends if you do not cook your food properly, okay? So make sure you cook your food good. Today, I'm not going to do that right now because <laughs> I'm, not gonna do that right now. I'm Jason Crocker and I do what I want. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Today, now you're house, in the hotel. <laughs> put up a two by six and I said I was done. So. I got a hotel room here, okay? I'm, I'm... All right, guys. Um, I didn't get any fish, so <laughs> I think I'm just going to go into town and get some food because <laughs> I didn't get any fish. All right, y'all, so that was, this video was just. I don't like, know how uh, you did it that far without laughing. Jason, I didn't care. God bless. I feel like that's how you'd be in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your prime. <laughs> so we, uh, one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to get this sawmill. As you can tell, we got it up on the trailer. We didn't videotape that part because, y'all, we needed all hands on deck. We didn't put the camera on because this thing's heavy. Jason did it by himself, and I don't know how he did it, but... We got it up on here. It was heavy. I probably need to go to the chiropractor tomorrow, but no, it was all good. We got it up on here. We were real safe about it. With us three doing it, it made it a little, a lot easier from what Jason was saying. Uh, yeah, way easier. <laughs> and guys, sorry, it's really windy up here on this hill, so if there's a lot of wind, sorry about that. But we got the sawmill up here. We're going to be taken to our house sometime. Uh, Jason probably come over, and we'll put it together. And uh, but right now we're probably just gonna work a little bit more around here, see what else Jason needs. We're here for him right now, uh, so we'll stay tuned. All 
All right, so we decided to bring the sawmill over here tonight. We're gonna get it set up over here and it's getting kind of laid out, so we don't know if we're gonna get a piece of wood on it, but we're gonna really try to get a log on here and just kind of see how it is, but no promises, but right now we're just gonna get this off safely. All right, so we got it kind of set up last night, but it was really late. So we we're gonna do our first log in the morning so y'all could be able to see it a lot better. Jason's still over here, he's hiding. He's a little shy, but um, so we got this leveled and everything. Now guys, just calm down right now. You can tell. We did not realize when you live on a hillside. Jason, did you show him how to level that? I did. <laughs> When you, you don't realize how much of a slope you live on until you really try to level this. This right now is leveled. Okay, I spent 30 minutes. We got this thing. It is leveled. 30? It took like three hours. You're talking about. Okay, yeah, three hours. <laughs> but you can tell the difference. We have a cinder block, and then down here, it's pretty much almost sitting on the ground. So it just shows you. It may not look like a very steep incline, but when you do this, I mean, this is what it is. And that's now, only after a 10-foot. Yeah, this is just 10 foot. Yeah. yeah. And But guys, just so you're not freaking out, this is not exactly how we're gonna do it. We just wanted to get one log on there. Jason's wanting to do something for his subscribers on his house stuff, so he'll probably show that later sometime. But we wanted to get one log on here just to see how it works, but kind of our deal later, what we're gonna try to do for more of a permanent, we'll show you, but we're gonna try to kind of cut the ground out, level the ground, and then get some actual pavers and do this a little bit better. But we just got it out here and we're just excited and we want to get a log cut just to see how it works. So this is just a temporary thing right now. When we start hitting it hard, we're gonna make this a lot better setup than what it is right now. I know it's all jankity looking, but we're gonna get a log on here and start cutting. All right, so we're gonna get this log up. Ugh. I think this is thick enough yeah. to make a pretty good slab. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're joking, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get this log right here. So we're gonna lift with the legs. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Have underneath it. All right. Oh man, I'm excited.
what your house is going to look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this would be wild. Let's see what it looks like. Oh! oh wow. Man! Damn! Look at that! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> That's crazy! That is, oh my gosh. Compared to like the brown that's on there Dude, on the sides, that. that is like purple. That is like, oh man, <laughs> look at that. That is just pretty. That was actually a really clean cut. Yeah. No, that really is really like... clean cut. Oh, dude. Oh man. <laughs> Are you excited? Shh. Excitement is not even a word. <laughs> All you have to Look do. Look at that. Literally, we tip. Oh yeah. my gosh. I'm impressed with the cut and everything. Dude. This thing cuts pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we got this thing cut. In Jason words, I am super pumped <laughs> right yeah. now. That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. This is some awesome cedar. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to throw some water over it. And this is kind of going to show you what it can kind of look like once you put, you know, epoxy or whatever. But it really, I'm going to show you the potential that this eastern red cedar has. And just pour a little bit of water. And that color pops. And just getting all that sawdust off. And look at that. That is God's creation right there. Look at it. I don't think you can hold it in. No, man. So we got this log milled up and it turned out really, I think it turned out pretty good for our first time doing it. This is a four by four ish, Yeah, roughly. you know, it's not completely squared or anything. We're like we said, we, it's kind of our first times using this, this sawmill, but for the first time, I mean, you can just look at this log. It's pretty much, it's about a four by four. I mean, I haven't measured it. It's not completely squared, but man this looks pretty like i don't think you can get prettier wood than yeah. this cedar the smell of it's good and so we kind of we've been talking a little bit about you know jason's cabin and stuff and he'll we'll probably show a lot later when we really start honing in on this uh sawmill you're probably going to see a lot of videos on this sawmill because we're going to be trying to really master cutting slabs and trying to you know furniture and just bunch of stuff so we're probably gonna be using this a lot and another thing too is this is like free lumber you know we have all these trees on our property so if we got a project or something we can literally now because you know with Jason's sawmill here we can cut it up and same thing with Jason if he needs something for his interior he just comes over and he needs some one by fours and the cedar is really good wood 
I mean, it's rot resistant, smells good, it looks amazing. So, if you can't tell, I'm very excited <laughs> about doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and Jason, you made it happen. Hey. Coming over here and doing this, and can do this like trees. Yeah, so we're just working together to get this thing done, and just trying to figure out exactly what we're doing with this uh, cabin. We're just brainstorming and everything, and it's. Just, I think it's going to be a pretty fun summer these next uh, few months doing a lot of stuff and just stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot um if you haven't subscribed to our channel subscribe if you don't know who jason is it's the crockers go over there subscribe to him he's off grid uh he'll be on our channel a lot uh you got any questions about the sawmill what we've been using and, and everything leave them down in the comments hit the bell for notifications and guys as always take care god bless Peace. <laughs>